I'm going to be doing the numbers on a high-end triplex for my client Lorenzo. I want to know if this is what you're thinking or if you want to make an adjustment. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holden Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show on Holden Wise TV where we work together, right? You work with me and my team one on one, okay? And uh, today's show is for my client, Lorenzo, right? Lorenzo, we hooked up because you uh, were in Cleveland. And you were touring a ton of neighborhoods uh, with another real estate agent that you had found. And you got yourself hooked up with a contractor and I believe even hooked yourself up with another property manager. We do everything, right? We do it all here at Holton Wise, okay? We do top to bottom stuff. We do uh, agent work. We do property management. We do construction, but we don't have to do it all, guys. Just so you know, we are an a la carte service, right? So Lorenzo was hooked up with these people. He had built himself a nice ground uh, team, okay? And you got yourself under contract with the property in Cleveland Heights, but you wanted to make sure you could do some more due diligence. You wanted to make sure you were making the right buy. So you ordered yourself a three-pack of the MLS search and analysis shows. And the first thing I did for you is I looked into that property because you were, you know, you're wondering, like, did I do a good deal? Did I not do a good deal, right? The, the particular agent that you've uh, decided to work with, I'm sure she's great, but you know what, guys? A lot... 99.9% .9 of the real estate agents, okay, they don't focus on rental property investing. They focus on regular real estate, right? They're used to driving you around. You look at a house, you like the house, you move into the house, right? That's what they do. They don't really focus on the rental stuff, right? But likewise, I'm not saying you should just ditch them and just work with Holden Wise. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you're like Lorenzo and you're a guy that wants to tour these neighborhoods and you actually want to physically tour them with an agent, guys, you're going to need to hire them other agents, right? Because that's not what we do at Holden Wise. There ain't no scenario where Jay Wise is driving around Cleveland with uh, fucking thousands of investors. That's just not possible, right? So you could uh, get the best of both worlds, right? We could either do everything for you or we can uh, do just where you need us. We can come in uh, and help out, help you and your other team, right? So that's what I did there, right? She did all that legwork with you. You guys toured the towns. You felt comfortable. You liked this agent, but you wanted my expert advice because, you know, she just doesn't uh, have the particular experience in this aspect of the business that I do. So I gave it to you. We killed that deal, and uh, now we're looking for some others. And uh, what you wanted me to do is you want to make a video with two more properties because you got that three-pack. Uh, what I've done today, today's show, I only included one property in this video. I'm going to do another one for you. Instead of uh, one video with two properties, I'm going to give you two videos each with one property. The reason I did that is I want your feedback after I show you this property, okay? Because what you've been telling me is that you really want to be in the nice neighborhoods, okay? You really want the nice stuff. You want the high-quality tenants. So I found you something that cash flows a little bit better than that property did because that's why we killed that one. Cash flow was an issue, but the cash flow numbers are still not amazing. Now, part of the issue with the cash flow is your particular loan, right? You got that high-ass interest rate, right? You're getting killed with that 4.8% interest rate. Many other lenders out there are doing lower interest rate, guys, but for whatever reason, and Lorenzo, you're stuck at that uh, 4.8 uh, with your situation. That's just like what your bank could do. Perhaps you'll do better talking to my lenders. If you want my list, brother, sales at HoltonWise.com, let us know. We'll get them to you. Anybody else watching the show, uh, we'll get you those lenders as well, okay? See if we can't work you down because uh, normal rates should be a little lower right now, okay? So I want you to look at this property. And I want you to let me know if it makes sense because the, uh, the numbers are a little bit better than the other property. But I also want you to let me know if you think that uh, maybe this just really isn't what you're feeling. Because if you want one of these really nice, uh, expensive, multifamily properties in these nice neighborhoods, right, this is kind of the numbers you're going to be, uh, you know, getting. So, you know, we can adjust your third video from there. I have right now in my head this property I, I kind of like for you. It's a neighborhood 
uh, that you didn't tour when you were here with your agent, okay? This, it's called Painesville. Uh, you toured, you know, all of uh, Cleveland. You were in Cuyahoga County. I know as far east as you went was Euclid. This is even further east than that. We're out of Cuyahoga County. We get up into a place called Lake County, a little more rural, right? This little spot called Painesville. I got this nice property I think might work for you. Uh, it's lower than what you've been antici anticipating spending, but it's non-traditional. It's actually going to be two houses on one lot, so you may have some issues actually getting a loan, but it might not uh, be a bad cash purchase for you. The cash-on-cash cash return numbers are going to be higher. The cap rate's going to be higher, but the quality of the, the neighborhood is going to be a little bit lower than the one you were looking at in Cleveland Heights in this Lakewood one. Um, so that's something I'm kind of thinking about. I was originally going to do that in this show with you, but... I said, nah, he only got the three-pack uh, three for now, so I want to really just get his feedback and see what he wants to do because you might love what I put together for you today, and you might you know, jump on this because you know, the, the numbers are a little nicer than the previous property, so maybe you want me to follow it up with another property in Lakewood like this one. I don't know, so that's why I wanted to separate them out, get your feedback. So with all that said, dude, let's get into it, man. Let's get into the deal, dude. 2208 Warren Road, Lakewood, 44107, listed three weeks ago, $219,900. you are going to pay if you want to be in Lakewood, right? Lakewood is one of the most popular, popular, popular areas, right? Properties in Lakewood, dude, like when the rentals go on the market, pfft, one day, dude, you probably have like 50 people lining up to rent them, dude. Stuff does not sit empty, right? This is a triplex, okay? Currently... We got two tenants in the two ones paying nine hundo, and then we have a vacant unit upstairs, which we should be able to rent that for five fifty. More on that shortly. But the the rent we're gonna be getting out of this sucker, twenty three fifty a month, twenty eight thousand two hundred a year. Now I want to cruise you through the photos. Let's talk about these units. First of all, let's talk about these units, right? These are gonna be photos of the up and down unit. These are the units that rented for nine hundred dollars. These were the photos they took prior to putting those $900 tenants in. If you haven't noticed, these are dated as all hell, dude. This is like original tile. This is gross. This doesn't look that good. But they're still getting $900, right? That's because this neighborhood is so fly. Like, dude, this is an original uh, kitchen setup here, right? So if we're talking cash flow... 2350 is what we're going to be able to get currently, right? We're going to have to renovate the third floor unit. I'll get to that when we get to the photos to get that third tenant in there. But, dude, we got some dated units right here, okay? And we're able to get 900. If you went in and put 15 Gs into each of these units, dude, you could take that 900, probably get that up to, I would say, probably almost 1200 is what you could be getting. So we could definitely increase the cash flow numbers there, right? Because what we have here... The, the rental amount is just solely being based upon the fact that this neighborhood is banging. And again, this is why I wanted to separate these videos for you, brother. I wanted to give you that information because, you know, again, you've come at me thus far. Hey, man, neighborhood, neighborhood. I want a quality neighborhood, quality tenants, right? So we're going to sacrifice some cash flow now, but we got all these things built into the cake that are so great, right? So maybe the third property for you is another one in Lakewood because you dig it. Or maybe you're going to be let down at the end of this video by the cash flow, and then possibly I show you that Painesville property. That's that's why we're doing this, man. That's why we're doing the back and forth, right? So as you can see, right, all the stuff in here, this is totally dated. So my recommendation is when these $900 tenants eventually move out, I want to see you spend about 15 Gs in each unit, deck them out, get that rent close to, to $1,200 a month, but, you know, they're definitely livable, and people want to be in this neighborhood. And by the way, if you hadn't noticed, uh, these things, these are radiators, okay? You don't always see these in the properties in the Cleveland market. The majority of the properties are forced air gas. Here, it's a central boiler system. So that's going to add to our costs, which I will get into shortly. But I want to cruise through the rest of the photos. I just want you to keep that in mind if you're wondering what those things were because you don't see a lot of them. Here's the other kitchen. Again, man, totally dated, right? But people just love living in Lakewood, right? There's a, just an intense nightlife out there, right? There's just bars, restaurants, shops, a lot of college-educated folks, right? If you're looking for, like, 
uh, a lot of people that like to rent, like think you're yuppies, you're hipsters, a lot of dual income college educated folks, right? Lakewood is where you want to be. And the demand is so high. Now, we are finally up into the third floor unit. This one though, right? This is empty currently, so I want you to fix this now, right? You don't have to worry about the fact that those other units are dated because the seller here already put them tenants in there. But this one, I want you to spend 10,000 bucks into this, right? I think you're going to want to spend 10 Gs into this unit before you get a tenant at 550. The, the previous landlord was renting it to some dude for like 360, right? You don't want to do that. 550, it's, it's a small, tiny unit, but I want you to put nice high-end finishes in there because it's very small. But you put nice high-end finishes in there, you're going to find a tenant, you know, maybe a, a two-family tenant, maybe a single person. I don't know, but they're going to want to be here just for the location. So just give them something fresh, give them something clean, okay? And uh, cruising on, here is that big old central boiler. So you are going to have increased costs. You will have to pay heat. I will go over that shortly. Normally, you don't have to pay heat. Two hot water tanks, I would... Uh, Imagine these are probably about midlife. I would say that's probably somewhere around 10 years old. By the way, over here, that is a sink. Don't get crazy. Don't think you're adding a fourth unit in the basement. Not going to be cost prohibitive. Plus, uh, we have a very high water table here in the Cleveland market, specifically in Lakewood. Definitely, it's very close to the Lake Erie there. So it would never make sense for you to try to put a, a unit in this basement. I get a lot of people that ask me that stuff. Uh, don't do it. All it's going to be is to house our mechanicals and to allow our tenants a laundry room. Okay, that's what the... That's what we're going to do in the basement. Nothing else. No basement apartments. Okay, folks? All right. So that's everything. As far as just putting in the 10K now and keeping those two $900 tenants, right? $2,350 comes in. $1,525 on average goes out. Normally, as a landlord in the Cleveland market, all you need to do is pay water sewer. The tenants always pay the gas and electric, but because of the boilers and stuff that I've been talking about, the central boilers, you're going to have to pay that. So that's going to add approximately $150 a month or $1,800 a year to our budget. After all that said and done, though, right? Leaves you with an NOI of eight twenty-five, so nine thousand nine hundred dollars. As far as price goes, listed at two nineteen nine. I think that's slightly, slightly overpriced, dude. This is Lakewood. The properties, when people are trying to rent them, they fucking fly, man. If you have a unit and you price it appropriately, day one, dude, tenants are fighting over it. Same thing with buyers, okay. 18 days on the market, that means the seller priced it wrong, okay? Literally, properties in Lakewood, like if we do a search in Lakewood, at any given point, there's probably only like two, three, four multifamily properties at once. They sell within days. Reason it's been on the market three weeks, I think they overpriced it a little bit. 219.9, too high in my opinion. I want to see you, Lorenzo, pick this sucker up for 190000 And then, of course, I factored into this analysis $10,000 for that third floor unit. So I want you to invest a total of $200,000 into this property. Now, I know you set a budget for one seventy five, dollars but you kept telling me high-end stuff, James, high-end stuff. Quality tenants, quality tenants, I don't want to be in the hood. I can't think of any place that's less hood than Lakewood, right? So uh, we kind of stretched your budget a little bit. But two hundred k with the amount of money we'll be bringing in, eight cap that is a great deal that is an awesome cap rate for a very high end property if you decide to finance it though it does kind of kill your cash on cash return because your mortgage is high right 4.8 percent in addition you got to remember when we're calculating your cash on cash return here it's only 1.6 percent but remember that's because i am calculating 47,000 uh 47,500 for the down payment that you'd be required to pay if you picked it up at 190 plus I calculated in the initial outlay of that $10,000. So for this investment, you know, I would really be looking more at the cap to uh, determine if it's a quality investment or not. So that is this property. That is my thoughts on this property, Lorenzo. So let me know what you want to do. If you want me uh, to move forward and go in and negotiate uh, on your behalf the, the sale of this property, right? It's a, a rental property. I actually happen to have a relationship with the listing agent. I've done deals with that person before. Uh, and I think when we get into the negotiation, 
I'm going to know a lot about, uh, you know, this type of property and how to take us from where we're currently at 220 down to 190, right? I'm trying to extract $30,000. So I would be more than happy to do that for you, represent you in the transaction. But you are absolutely under no obligation to have me and my team do so. If you'd like, we could turn this over to you right now. You've paid for the video. You owe me nothing, brother. If you want to use your existing real estate agent, that is totally fine by me. I just want to know what you want to do. Just let me know. And then in addition, let me know what direction you'd like me to take your following video. Do you want another property like this, high quality but low cash on cash return? Or are you curious about that new area, right? That Painesville property. It's a non-traditional property, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some higher cash on cash return type numbers, right? A little bit more cash flow. But remember, it's not going to be a hot spot like this. So Lorenzo, let me know. Reply to this private email. Everybody else who's been watching this video, just so you know. I sent this to Lorenzo in a private link probably a couple months ago. I do not release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV until the deals are done, until the dust settles. So if you are watching this now and you're not Lorenzo, these deals, they're long gone. And if you'd like to work with us one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, click the MLS Search Analysis Show, order a package. I recommend you get multiple properties. I can do as little as one property for you guys whenever you need me to, but I think the multi-package, uh, multi-property packages work best, right? Because I'm able to work with you back and forth. It becomes more of a two-way communication than a one-way communication, and we can really feed off of each other to really fit you guys with the right investment, right? There is no bad property out there, okay? There's uh, good things about every property, bad things about every property. It's all about finding the right property for the right investor at the right price. And with the multi-property package, uh, it's easy for me to do because we, we go back and forth quite a bit, right? And uh, you guys typically learn more about the market as we go. You know, you might have had some preconceived notions about the market and how things are going to work out. And then I do a few videos for you and I kind of change your way of thinking, right? Because, hey... Most of you don't live here in Cleveland. How the fuck are you going to know what's going on here on the ground in Cleveland? You ain't going to know that, right? And if you did know all that, I guess I really wouldn't have a job and nobody would be watching Holton Wise TV, right? So, you know, that's what I'm here for, right? Again, utilize me and my team for what you need. We can do everything, but we don't have to. We can be here for you on an a la carte basis, just another tool in your investor toolbox. Thanks for watching today's show, guys. New viewers, please smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate.
Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.